the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Good afternoon and welcome to St. Andrew's Parish for today's Mass, Mass, the fifth Sunday in Ordinary Time. Please stand. afternoon. All very welcome to Mass for Sunday. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. We just congratulate Amber. She is the first of the new class of altar servers to serve today. Maybe we should clap after and see how you do. <laughs> we just ask the Lord again now to remove all the fears and all the worries from our minds. 
I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I've failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God and the highest, and on earth peace to his people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, you take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us, for you will honor the Holy One. You will honor the Lord. You will honor the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care that relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, they may be defended always by your protection through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated now for the readings. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, share your bread with the hungry, shelter the oppressed and the homeless, clothe the naked when you see them, and do not turn your back on your own. Then your light shall break forth like the dawn, and your wound shall, be quickly, shall quickly be healed. Your vindication shall go before you, and the glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Then you shall call, and the Lord will answer. You shall cry for help, and he will say, Here I am. If you remove from your midst oppression, false accusation, and malicious speech, if you bestow your bread on the hungry and satisfy the afflicted, then light shall rise for you in the darkness, and the gloom shall become for you like midday. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. When I came to you, brothers and sisters, proclaiming the mystery of God, I did not come with sublimity of words or of wisdom, for I resolved to know nothing while I was with you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. I came to you in weakness and fear and much trembling, and my message and my proclamation were not with persuasive words of wisdom, but with a demonstration of spirit and power, so that your faith might rest not on human wisdom, but on the power of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. Be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, You are the salt of the earth. But if salt loses its taste, with what can it be seasoned? It is no longer good for anything but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city set on a mountain cannot be hidden. Nor do they light a lamp and then put it under a bushel basket. It is set on a lampstand where it gives light to all in the house. Just so your light must shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Good afternoon again. The Gospel for reading, talking about salt, about light. It's talking about salt. If it loses its flavor, it's useless. And I kind of relate that to the zeal within us, the spiritual zeal. If we lose the spiritual zeal, then we're just going through the motions, right? And sometimes that is the case, right? We kind of just go along. But it's saying in the first reading, Isaiah is saying, you know, when you share your bread with the hungry, when you give to others, then your light is shining before others. Others will see the good in you and will know that the Lord is in you. Now, one time I had the privilege of being present at one of the visionaries having his apparition for a full week every evening and uh, normally he would say after what our lady said if there was a message for those who were present and normally the message was basically pray for families pray for the world anyway the last apparition that I was present during this particular time this is what the visionary said after after she sang some words, then she looked at us, meaning the people who are present, and said the following. Pray for the gift of patience. 
she said again, pray for the gift of patience. In other words, it is a gift. We just don't have it. And then she said, pray for humility. When I heard the visionary saying these words, oh, I thought she was talking to me myself, which was talking to everybody. But then she said, pray for the gift of forgiving. Forgiving yourself and forgive others. In this way, your hearts will be open to the Holy Spirit. I remember saying to the visionary after, I said, wow, there's kind of strong words from Our Lady. All the other evenings was about pray for peace in the world and the family. But now she was focusing in. And he said, yes, yes, but there are a progression. One leads to the other. So this is what I just said. Pray for patience. You won't do very much for the Lord without patience. Because patience means is to wait. Our prayers are not always answered like that, are they? We have to wait. So to pray for the patience. And then humility. Humility is, well, it's many things, but not thinking more of ourselves than we should, etc. Humility. And then the next one is very important. Praying to forgive yourself. Right? To forgive yourself. And then forgive others. Now, when you put them together, those four, those four together, praying for patience. Boy, do I need patience, right? Humility, need humility, you know. You might be the pastor of a church, but you're not in charge. Figure that out. Humility. Forgive yourself. Very important to forgive yourself. We often are very hard on ourselves in some respects. Forgive yourself, forgive others. Then your heart is open to the Holy Spirit coming down. Keep those four in mind. Because we're human, even before you leave the church, somebody could insult you in some way or other. And if you went through those progressions very quickly in your mind, you would come up with a freedom of your heart being open. What are they again? Patience. Patience. Humility. Humility. Forgive yourself. Forgive others. Then your heart is open. The Holy Spirit can now land in your heart. Because as scripture says, your heart is no longer hardened. But pray for those four but take them in the order that I just gave them so that you will be free and I'll be free and then the Holy Spirit can come in and then we will have that light in us that scripture is saying others will see the light in you and then they won't be looking at your light but they'll be looking at the light of Christ now they may seem very Simple words, but they're not. Go through it again. What are they again? Hold it, hold it. Praying for the gift of patience. And then the humility. Then she said, pray for forgiveness. Forgive yourself. Forgive others. When you put that together, there's a great freedom there already. Just by putting it together. But go over it and over it. The last time, wherever I was, I told them, write it down. Because the memory will fade very quickly. But if they are put together, you will have that great peace. The Holy Spirit can come upon us. You know, I was looking out there 
near the statue of Our Lady at the corner out here. You've seen that statue? And there's a light on it. But it's one of these solar lights, you know, that they use in houses and the roofs. And how does that work? Well, the light from the sun comes down and hits that little panel and there's cells in it. It traps the heat which turns to a current and it gives out light. When your heart is open, the Holy Spirit, the light of the Holy Spirit can touch your heart, your cell, and then you can give it out to the world. You are the light. Amen? Let us now humbly profess our faith in one God. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God and true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven and by the power of the Holy Spirit was incarnate in the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. On this Saturday afternoon, we humbly raise our hearts, our minds to our Heavenly Father as we bring the needs before him. For Pope Francis, may the Lord continue to inspire him in sharing the message of God's mercy and his desire for people to know and love him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who work for justice, may the Holy Spirit give them courage and guide them in shining the light of truth among the powerful. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who feel despair, may God lift the cloud of darkness and fill them with hope. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord hear our Lord. prayer. For all of us gathered here, may the Lord help us to be the light and salt he calls us to be. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all who have died, may God welcome them into the shining glory of the kingdom of heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. And for our mass intentions, John M. Costa and Mary Beth Costa. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. Just pause now for a moment in the silence of your own hearts. Heavenly Father, you know the needs and the hearts of all who are present here. We bring all our prayers before you to the intercession of the Blessed Mother as we say the Hail Mary together. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen.
brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. In the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for all his holy church. O Lord, our God, who once established these created things to sustain us in our frailty, Grant, we pray, that we may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from ending death. And by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with the angels, the archangels, with the thrones, the dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. again come to the most sacred part of the Mass, the Eucharistic prayer. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Edgar, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and for Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace in unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. And with your spirit. This is Jesus, the risen Lord, the healer. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life.
May the blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Amen.
remember, O oh most gracious, gracious Virgin, Virgin Mary, Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, protection implored your help, or sought your intercession, was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, O oh virgins of virgins, our mother. To you do we come, before you we stand, sinful and sorrowful. O oh mother of the word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in your mercy hear and answer them. Amen. O oh Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us who have recourse to thee. May the heart of Jesus in the most blessed sacrament be praised, adored, and loved with infinite affection at every moment in all the tabernacles of the world, even to the end of time. Amen. Saint Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl around the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. St. Andrews is having a Valentine cookie decorating gathering this Sunday, February 5th at 11.30 a.m. in the parish hall. Everything will be provided. There will be a healing mass on Thursday, February 8th at St. Andrews. Rosaries and confession are at 6 p.m., followed by mass at 6.30 p.m., and benediction and healing prayers to follow. The women of faith will be selling soup after all masses next weekend, February 11th and 12th, and it's $5 a quart. The Knights of Columbus will be having a baked stuffed chicken dinner on March 4th. Tickets will be sold after all Masses beginning next weekend. Tickets are $15 for adults and $10 for children. Next Sunday, February 12th, Faith Formation classes grade 5 and 6 and grade 9 will meet. And please remember to share the bulletin with family and friends, all the upcoming events going on in our parish. Let us pray. O oh God, who have willed that we partakers in the one bread and the one chalice, grant us, we pray, so to live that made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for salvation of the world through Christ our Lord. Amen. Again, the scriptures this weekend was saying, let your light shine out so others will know that the Lord is within you. But again, there are four steps that to be free to open our hearts so that the Holy Spirit can come in. Could you tell me them again before you leave here today? Gift of, gift of patience. No, no, no. Prayer, patience is a gift. Pray for the gift of patience. Keep going. Humility. Ourselves. Forgive, praying and for the gift of forgiveness of Ourselves self and to forgive others. Put those four together and you will see yourself open up. You will have peace, you will have calmness, and above all, you will have the Holy Spirit in your life. Can you remember those four in the progression? <laughs> That's what Our Lady gave in one of the messages very recently for all of us. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended now. Go in peace and love to serve the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. Amber, you did a great job. Thank you. But I, I waited until the end to do the clapping because, well, not that I didn't <laughs> trust you, but just in case, but you did well. God bless you.
you. <laughs> oh, thank you, Skip.